This is module four, lesson three on the back. Each square is one square unit. Write the area of each rectangle. Then draw another rectangle with the same area in the space provided. So first, I'm going to find the, rec the area of the rectangle. I can do that by counting one, two, three, four, five. There are five squares in the first row, so I'm going to skip count by fives. Five, ten. The rectangle has an area of ten square units. Next, I need to draw a rectangle that has the area of ten square units. I have two different choices. I can draw one long rectangle that includes 10 squares. So let's check to see how many I have so far. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I need to keep drawing. 8, 9, 10. That would be a rectangle that has the area of 10 square units. It is the same area but a different shaped rectangle. Rectangle B has one, two, three um, squares going across. So I can skip count. Three, six, nine. This rectangle has the area of nine square units. So I need to draw another rectangle that has the area of nine square units. If I count three across and three down, that has the area of nine square units. However, it looks the same as area B, and I need to find a different area. So I'm going to erase that, and I'm going to try again. <clears throat> if I think about multiplication, I know three times three equals nine, and the only other way that I can get nine is 9 times 1 <clears throat> or 1 times 9. So if I do 1 times 9, I would have 1 square going down and 9 squares going across. So a similar rectangle to number to rectangle A. <clears throat> I have 1, 2, 3, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine square units. The same is being asked of you on the third rectangle, rectangle C. So find the area of rectangle C. First, make sure you label with square units. Then draw a rectangle next to it that has the same area but is a different shape. 